Hello there people, how are we doing? So in this video, I want to talk about the problems that you might face with a single Steam account in terms of buy orders. Basically, the issues in trying to keep up your Steam wallet and, well, having to constantly keep check with your total buy order amount. I'm going to encourage you to the idea of setting up more Steam accounts and, well, uh, a nice way to get started with that and how to, you know, work from there and the strategies and the benefits that it's going to help you with. So, yeah, let's get started. As you might know, I'm invested into several Steam economies such as CSGO and TF2 and, well, Rust, and I'm constantly doing buy orders. But you might notice here, um, in terms of uh, the British uh, currency, I can only have up to £1,700 and, well, I've already almost reached that, haven't I? But um, if you understand the likes of the 10 times Steam Wallet rule with buy orders, if you don't, I would encourage you to watch my The Steam Community Market Buy Orders and How to Profit From Them video to get a good understanding for the buy order mechanics and whatnot. Um, basically, with this account, I can't actually do any buy orders anyway. Remember, the maximum allowed amount of money that I could have on my Steam wallet times 10 would be £17,000 and well, that's already almost pretty much there, isn't there? So, what I did with this account was I actually strategically exhausted it and, well, I'll give you a nice example over here. See this account right here? £1,482. It wasn't the same earlier, because what I did earlier was I actually did something, and that is, I had almost £1,700 in this account, and my buy orders were very close to £17,000. So... I added a little bit more money, I made sure that all of my buy orders added up to just about £17,000, so effectively, this account here is exhausted. It can't add any more money, it can't do any more buy orders, it just sits there and it'll just buy stuff and that's it. But then, to top it off, I then went and bought this. I went and bought a factory new Desert Eagle Blaze. Very nice, and cost quite a lot of money. About $500, I believe, so that happened. But the reason why I bought that was to make sure I could still keep selling things, because Rust skins are selling very nicely at the moment. But uh, let's just jump straight back and get a nice visual for my uh, accounts. So, this account right here, this is... This is along with the other account, exhausted. It can't do any more buy orders, it's effectively done. But, as you can see, I have many accounts, so, Hedge, why are you doing this? What's up here? So, as I said, these two accounts can't do any more buy orders, but I, of course, want to still keep doing buy orders, and, well, that means I either get rid of some buy orders, which I don't want to do that. No, 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 because I've got great buy orders. Every single one I have is a great buy order. I can't get rid of them. So... I had to make more Steam accounts, and, well, this is where we're going to explain the benefits of this. So, with more Steam accounts equals being able to store a whole lot more things, such as, of course, more skins and, well, uh, when your money's diversed around a whole lot more, you can keep doing more and more buy orders. So, as you can see, I've got plenty of buy orders here. So many buy orders. It never stops. But all of these buy orders, I want to keep, and I want to make sure that I always have them nice and available. So, you never know, I might pick something up for super cheap and, well, I can sell it for a very nice profit. So, eventually, when I do tons and tons of buy orders, the account, whether it's going to be intentionally or unintentionally, it's going to become exhausted. I might randomly buy a knife on this account right here, and suddenly, I won't be able to do any more buy orders. Even though I can still sell things on the account and whatnot, yeah, I, it's it, it, that's just randomly appeared and I've got to deal with that. But if I had other accounts that are perfectly prepared to still do buy orders, so they have more money to, uh, in comparison to the total buy order amount, then I'm fine. So I'm always prepared and, you know, you get the idea. So throughout this past year, I've had seven accounts. And if you've seen me in terms of when a new case appears, such as the recall case, which is just down right there, that appeared back in July, I believe. And I did buy orders with three accounts on that, and there's a reason why I did it. So my first buy order was equal to around 50, 50 to 60 cents. My second buy order was equal to around $1 to $1.20. And my third buy order was equal to around $2. Basically, I wanted to be able to have different regions for buy orders because I know when a brand new CSGO case comes out, for example, and this can apply to uh, a new TF2 hat or a new uh, Rust uh, skin that's quite valuable, 
I know that um, eventually, as time goes on, that case is going to get less and less, uh, it's going to lose value, it's going to go down in price, it's going to be expensive to begin with, but eventually it will go down in price, so if I quickly click this, I'll show you its history, it starts off very high, and then it gradually goes down and down and down and down and down, but by having several accounts, I can kind of always be making a profit, so my my uh, two dollar buy order, which ha should have enough room uh, and uh, be in a decent region to pick up a lot of cases for fairly cheap and still sell them for a nice profit, and that, that exactly happened. I was buying them for around two dollars and selling them for around three dollars. I worked out very nicely there, but what happened was, eventually, uh, it got too cheap to the point where it just wasn't smart to keep that buy order, and I removed it. So, what I had left was my $1 buy order, and eventually, when this case gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, I could have removed it if it got to that point, because once it's not profitable, that's a bad idea, you don't want to keep that buy order anymore. But I fulfilled all of my buy orders, so that was totally fine. And then eventually, with my 50 to 60 cent buy order, um, this case never really got that cheap, so... Right now, even right now, after, what, half a year almost, it's still 55 cents, so only now is it around this price, so basically that strategy in terms of using multiple accounts, it's nice to have, and I always will encourage it. But now we're going to talk about what can I do to get started, so, gentlemen, I now have an eighth account, let's go say hello to videos. Yeah, videos. It, it, the account's called Videos H, but yeah, this is my account. I've got it nice and set up. I set it up about two weeks ago, so if you understand, when you start up a new account, you have to spend around uh, $5. You have to put $5 onto Steam or make a uh, purchase of at least $5, and then you have to wait 15 days with Steam Guard enabled, and then, yeah, that's all nice and set up. So I did this all before, now I can work with this. So this is a brand new account. As you can see, it had no buy orders, no sell listings, you get the idea. So, what I did was, on one of my other accounts, which we've literally just looked at, this account right here actually did some buy orders. Now, as I said, I did those recall case buy orders, and what happened just a few weeks ago? Well, there you are. My buy order was cheaper than what the recall cases are selling for right now. And I could have sold them instantly, but I thought ahead and thought, you know what, why don't I keep them? And I have. And what I did was, once this new account became available, I traded them over. So I had 500 buy orders, but I sold three of them on that other account before I realised, hey, hang on a minute, maybe I should save it for the new account. So there you go, that's just a quick uh, answer to why there's only 497. So yeah, I've been collecting a lot of cheap pickups with my buy orders and I've just moved it to a different account, the new account. And basically, I bought these for a price where if I sold them instantly, I'd make a profit. But why not just keep it whilst it's retaining its value? Move it over to a different account and well, basically, as you can see, uh, I've, it's not just the only thing I've bought, I've got loads of things. <laughs> to become the world's first case unboxing millionaire. I've got loads of things that I've put, I've bought for cheap and I can now sell on this account instead. So if you already have accounts which are picking up things for cheap, this is what you can do to help start up your new account. So basically, now I'm going to go over to here and show you something. So this is the recall case, selling for 47 pennies my currency, but as I just showed you, I bought them on this account for around 37, 36 pennies, very nice. So if you know your taxes uh, with Steam tax, I'm going to make about 5 pennies profit. And just to show to you Americans, right now these are selling for 55 cents. So as I said, I made a purchase, um, I put f uh, $5 on my account, or well, £4, and um, I made a purchase in TF2 so I could also open up TF2 on this account, so yep, that's all nice and good. And I also bought a game on this account, and well, gentlemen, I've made some sales, and there you go, there you go, I've got myself nice and started. But the reason why I brought this up is because this account already had some money on it. So yeah, I made a purchase of a TF2 paint, but now, when I refresh, ta-da, it's got some money. And now, theoretically speaking, this account can do £50 worth of buy orders because I have £5 in this account. But as I said, I've got loads of things to sell, so yeah, you get the idea. And because it's a completely fresh account, I've got no buy order limit. So 
Yeah, I'm nice and prepared to make great use of this new account and uh, I can do some, I can do loads of buy orders. And you know, with the potential new CSGO case on the horizon, or maybe we have an operation this year with CSGO and whatnot, I'm perfectly fine to get like jump in and make tons of buy orders and not worry about the limits because I don't currently have any limits and if I sell everything I have here I'm going to have a lot of money and I'm going to have a lot of buy order limit available to me in terms of well if I had a thousand pounds in this account I'd have 10,000 buy orders to be able to do 10,000 buy uh, 10,000 pounds worth of buy orders so yeah that should help you in terms of getting set up basically just Keep hold of the things that you buy for cheap and then just put it onto the new account and that's it and sell and now that account can do buy orders and, and make sales and whatnot and it's going to work out very nicely for it so yeah that is how you can get yourself nice and set up but as I said when a new case comes out for example you can hop onto one account do the buy order do like the low ball buy order and then I take this and I'll hop over to this account and I'll be like oh hey uh, paste it here so paste and then did a second buy order and then I'll go to a third account I'll click that and I paste it there and I do the next buy order so yeah that's all good but just make sure you're not trying to do it on an exhausted account so yeah if you can keep check with everything everything can work out very nicely for you and well it, you might think oh hedge how do you deal with having multiple accounts I, again if you're just fairly reasonably organized it's not too much of a problem and the benefits the helpfulness and having it being able to go around and make sure you can constantly sell things when a certain economy is doing very well at the moment well you get the idea it's all nice and good so that's just to help all of those people that kept asking me hedge how do you set up a new account why do you have so many accounts it's because of this i don't have issues in having to keep money up i don't have issues with buy order limit and with the likes of these accounts i can just completely exhaust it take everything it buys and move o move it over to another account to sell it on that account so some accounts over time might make a random purchase that you know might cost a lot of money but with all the buy orders that i have on some of these exhausted accounts i could just move them over to there and eventually some of these accounts might reach to a point of being exhausted whether it's involuntary or not involuntary and maybe all the buy orders that i have in this account i could just move over back onto the old exhausted accounts and eventually i'll be able to do buy orders in this account again if i make sure i have enough sales and enough steam wallet so you get the idea it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so yeah the more the merrier and uh, if you can handle it it's all good so if you've ever had those issues where you've got like a hundred dollars and you've got maybe 995 uh, nine uh, um, yeah, nine hundred and ninety-five dollars worth of buy orders. You you've probably reached a point where you're like, ah, oh, I can't do anything anymore. You might need to consider making a second account and then move everything onto that account, sell the things in that account, and now you can do buy orders on two accounts. And as I said. If you can do two buy orders on a new skin or item, you can be prepared for it eventually going down in price and you can always make sure you at least have a buy order down, you know, if you layer it with different prices and yeah, you get the idea. So, hey, nice to see you videos. Hopefully you make a lot of sales and hopefully we can do loads of buy orders soon. So, yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful, you, uh, helpful for you. God, I'm losing my voice, but yeah. If you were stuck or confused in terms of some of the terminology I used in terms of like the Steam wallet buy order amounts and whatnot, please consider watching the Steam Community Market buy orders and how to profit from them. This will explain so much more in terms of the mechanics of buy orders and whatnot. It'll be a great help to you, and well, you will only succeed even better with this. So this is mainly all about buy orders and well. With that, with the knowledge that you've gained from this, yeah, you will succeed. So thank you all. Hope you have a good one. See you later.